<clears throat> obviously very disappointed. Um, very disappointing loss. Uh, I knew uh, all week long this was going to be a very talented James Madison football team. This was, <laughs> we, we, and we knew this coming in that they were very talented. And uh, uh, but uh, you know, I get hats off to them. They made the plays when they had to make them. And um, but we, uh, you know, we we, we, did, we didn't help ourselves in a lot of areas, and that was very disappointing on our part. Um, but um, again, our, our our goals are still in front of us. We start conference play next week. And um, we've got to find a way, and we've got to find a way to keep getting it, you know, getting better. Uh, I was very proud of our players that, that uh, even though down, they never gave in. Um, they kept battling back, fighting back, and, um, you know, and for us to go up 45-41 uh, uh, with two minutes to go was, was uh, you know, just regardless how bad you might have played the first half, we, were, we had to lead. And, um, and so, uh, uh, but for us not to be able to hang on to that was very disappointing, and, and uh, you know, again, I'll give them credit. Badly rushed for a lot of yards. Were you guys prepared for that coming into the game? You know, it, yes, we were. We knew he was very talented. You know, we, I'd played against him, you know, when he was at Georgia Tech, very talented player. Um, and, um, you know, we've, we've just – we've got glaring weaknesses right now. They show up every week. And, obviously, the quarterback run game is one of them. Stopping the pass is another. And so uh, – you know, it's, uh, I'm going to give him credit. He's a very talented athlete, though. But we've got we've to help ourselves out, too. How much were you hurt by the absence of Zach Wood? You know, I think that, that hurt us a little bit. I do. Um, but, uh, you know, until we go back and look at film, it's really hard to say. I mean, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm proud of the, the, uh, the fact that the kid, the guy, guys never, never gave up. I mean, they kept fighting back and fighting back. And, and um, I mean, against a team like this, you, you've, you've got to be able to, you got to be able to have that have that, uh, that, that that final hit right there, and you know we were actually trying to slow it down before we scored uh, with two minutes to go, and and, um, and you know just wish we would have slowed it down a little bit more. Who was lined up against Ankara, and how did you try to accommodate for the sacks that he just kept bringing on? Oh, I'm sorry, on on Ankara, on the on the offensive line, who was lined up against him? Well, I mean we 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 were trying to put. Uh, uh, they were doing a, 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 what we call it an ET stunt, where they were moving, especially on third down. They were they were they were twisting their front on us, and and um, they were moving, doing a good job moving around. But uh, um, they were getting a lot of the penetration in the middle, you know. And so um, they kind of had us. Uh, we, we we had to back our guys, you know, trying to get those guys off the ball a little bit more. But uh, um, yeah, I thought we did did decent at times passing off their stunts in the middle. But uh, again, they got us several times. Chad Persley obviously saw some time throughout the game. What, what did you see from him during the week that made you want to yeah. play him a little bit? Well, you know, we had, um, um, where Chauncey had been been out most of the week in practice, and Chad had had a really good week of practice, and so we thought we would go ahead and go with Chad and get him some reps. And, you know, if anything, it helps create some depth for us down the road. How good. clutch were the three interceptions? No, that it was huge. You know, I think all three interceptions. I think we came up with turnovers or came up with points, and so that was huge to get. Um, you know, again, I, I thought that uh, you know when, when we did make plays, we were able to capitalize on them, and that was good to see. Um, again, I was proud of our student body. I thought you know they they were into the game, and and um, you know, and they had every right not to be in the game, especially there for a little while. But uh, um, but uh, again, we've got to do a better job of. of of taking advantage of some other opportunities that we got throughout the course of the game. You go for the the onside kick with just under four minutes left. Was there any temptation in your mind to kick away and let your defense try to stop them? And what factors went into that decision? Well, there was. Um, I thought at the eight minute mark when I chose to punt, um, I was kind of questioning. You know, at that point, you know, should I went for you know went for it right there? But we chose to punt it, and then. Kept thinking, well, if we get the ball back, we really hadn't stopped them, um, you know. And, and if we, you know, get the onside kick, that that if they're going to get the ball, they're going to get it in midfield. If they scored, it's going to be a shorter field, less time off the clock. So that was kind of weighing into that. Coach, you talked about you talked about another kind of slow start in the first half, but then at the start of the second half, we got a quick interception, and then that turns into a quick touchdown. Yeah. Is there any adjustments you made at halftime? Well, I mean, I, yeah, I mean, we just challenged them. I mean, I was very disappointed in our start, and, and I don't get it. I, I really don't. I mean, we had a great warm up, we had a great week of practice, um, but uh, I thought our energy on the sideline was just—I thought it was atrocious. I really did.
And, um, you know, I, I don't know, you know, we're, we're, you're a one and two football team. I mean, you know, yeah, you play some, get some, some really good opponents, but, you know, we were fixing to play another really good opponent, as we did tonight. And, and uh, we had talked about that all week long, that we had to bring the energy. And uh, I was very disappointed in the first half. So halftime, obviously, challenged those guys. And, um, you know, they, they, they responded. What were your thoughts on the two freshmen running back again today? Well, you know, again, I thought they did a really good job. I mean, they're freshmen and, and doing some good things. Obviously, um, you know, they're heavily involved in this thing, and, and um, it's, a, uh, uh, it's a challenge right now for these guys. They're, you know, we're trying to play fast, but, but uh, you know, you're also, you're also trying to play catch-up, too. And so you gotta, you got to keep these guys rolling and try to keep them as fresh as possible. What was your, your thought in changing a little bit of what you did against TCU because you had – a little more shorter routes running at against TCU, and then there weren't that many. There were more long routes. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, we felt like we needed to run the football. I thought we could run the football a little bit better tonight than what we did. And and I was, I mean, we did. We ran for two hundred something yards, but uh, um, you know, we, you know, I really thought to get it going, we, we needed to be able to establish the run. And um, you know, again, you know, it's just that was just kind of the feel for it that we had, and we were trying to move our guys all over the field as far as a receiver standpoint. Again, I'm going to give them credit. They, they did a good job. Chad Hedlin hit a 52-yarder in the first half. Did he have to try to lobby you or sell you on the idea of letting him kick that long? No, no. I was. Uh, I, I just felt like we had the wind to our back, um, and he had been. He had hit it at practice, and so it was really good for a great experience for him right now to, to be able to hit that. Um, he's definitely an asset and definitely a weapon for us, and so it was good to see. Anything else, guys? Coach, how much of a this sack today, do you think, was attributed to Matt holding out the ball a little too long? Yeah, I thought I thought that was some of it. I really do. Um, I thought that uh, um, you know, and I've said this, you know, Matt obviously Matt got us to the lead, um, but there's times that you know Matt does he does tries to do too much, and those are things as, as a young quarterback you learn, um, and um, you know it's just a, it's a trust factor, and, and he's. Uh, He's done a really good job the first three weeks of the season, and, and I thought he did. I thought he held the ball a little bit too long uh, at times. And uh, but they also thought that they did a good job of penetrating the front, you know. And so some of it's not it's not just on him; it's on it's on a lot of guys right there.